So, this is our lovely guest on the Daddy's Dollhouse, Shola Sho Shojo. Oops, don't have a question. Can you please, can you please introduce yourself? Yeah, sure. Hi, um, I'm Shola Shojo, your brand new retro idol. Um, I'm from the distant year of 1988X, here to bring everyone some good old-fashioned idol kayo. Um, if you have a call and response, can you say what it is? Yeah, it's, um, who's your brand new retro idol? Go, go, show a shoujo. I love that. That's very adorable. <laughs> Thank you. I, I'd, been, I'd been trying to think of one for, like, ages, and then I thought, oh, that one's pretty cute. I feel, I feel like it, like, suits you. Yeah. <laughs> so, for some people that uh, may not know what a show shoujo is, can you explain that? Explain, like, your concept? So, um, my concept is very inspired by um, Showa era J-pop, which is basically, um, mainly for me, it's like 60s to 80s. Um, I'm inspired by idols like Akina Nakamori, Seiko Masuda, Yukiko Okada, uh, and like city pop and J-pop from like that era in general. I do mean like like a good idea of what exactly you cover. What are some of your strengths or special talents that you have? Well, I write and produce my own music. I've been oh. doing this for, I've been doing it for like quite a few years, even before I started like idol activities. So I've got like a bunch of experience in that. And I guess, like, kind of, like, my knowledge about, like, Showa-era idols in J-pop could count as a strength. Like, because I'm, like, so, like, hyper-fixated on that that I, I know a lot about it. Yeah. I did. When I had found you, I noticed that you had released your debut song. Great. I'm not trying to pronounce the other word. With it. How many? Yes. I did know that you uh, released it. Can you talk about that or any, like, um, upcoming activities you have? Well, um, well, first of all, I'm like, I was like so happy with like how like people received that song and all the support I got with it. That that made me feel really, I was really grateful for that. Um, as for upcoming stuff, uh, I do have the Multiverse Idol Showcase um, coming in January, January 20th. Um, and I'm really excited to take part in that. And as for other original music stuff, I am actually working on a song right now. I've got an instrumental down. I just need to finish up recording vocals for it. It's it's something it's something Christmassy and fun, and everyone will see it soon. And I'm excited to get that done. Like, don't mind. Is it going to be kind of like a similar like bubbly feel to your debut song, or would it have like a like a different vibe to it? Uh, yeah, it's it's quite a similar vibe. I would say it's like it re it's really like it it really gives like a kind of sparkly city pop kind of feel. Oh yeah, yeah. I was able. That's what I wanted to capture, and I feel like I was able to capture that really well. So I'm really excited to get it finished and out. Yeah, I believe that would be great for the holidays. <laughs> yeah. So when you, so what do you do to train or perform perform? For like a performance or when you're about to like record the vocals for a song that's a good question um i i'm just like always singing when i can always try to um practice practice and perfect my performance because i'm quite a perfectionist um mm -hmm. but you know i also like i also like want to have fun and i do have fun when i practice and when i record uh but yeah i just i just i just really try my best Sound, that sounds like a lot better than what I do normally. <laughs> okay, and now to the final segment. This actually went pretty, pretty fast. You know, <laughs> I feel like I learned a lot about you. So these are questions from the Q&A that uh, me and you did. So I'll start yeah. with the ones that you have. Okay. Uh, first question is, what was your biggest long-term goal as an idol? So my biggest long-term goal as an idol is to, like, perform at conventions and like idol fest that's my biggest dream that's because um when i first like started doing this 
I had seen I'd seen Meowdical Rosie, who's a Scottish idol. I'd seen her yeah. perform at a convention. And that was what made me want to do this. Like that inspired me and motivated me so much. So to be able to perform like her on stage for people mm-hmm. and engage with people in person, that's my biggest dream. Uh, I'd also like to put out an album sometime and I'd like to do more collabs because I did a collab with Jubsy back in September and that was so much fun and I'd love to do that again. So those are all the things that I really want to do. Okay. Do you have a dream vocal cover? I would really love to record anything by Mami Yamazi because she's one of my all-time favorite idols. And I'd really love to cover uh, one of her songs. Okay. Now, to get into the other questions. Uh, was there anybody in particular that inspired you to become a retro idol or idol in general? Well, I mentioned Meow Jaco Rosie earlier, and she was definitely one of my biggest inspirations. Because, um, like, I mean, before before I'd seen her, I had, I had seen, like, um, the Kaya idol scene briefly oh, yeah. i'd seen i'd seen paida and phoebe and idols like that and i thought it was really cool and then i saw rosie at a convention in person and i was like oh there's another scottish idol i can do this too so yeah th- those are those are people who inspired me to become an idol okay um what inspired you to choose like the retro idol as a concept? Well, I've always loved older music, even before I got into like Showa era J pop. Um, like the Beach Boys is like one of my favorite bands of all time. Uh, and then one day I found City Pop and I totally fell in love. And then through that, I found idol music from that era. And it was just like, I loved it so much. And then when I was thinking about becoming an idol, I thought I haven't really seen anyone like touch upon that era of idol music. And I would like that to be my concept. I felt like that was my calling. So that's that's the reason why I chose that concept. Okay. And then another question. I think this is the final one. What is your, um, like, I forgot what it's called, well, your color? Like your ah, like color. my paint light color. Um, yeah. well, mine is pink and purple. Pink because pink's my favorite color, and purple mm-hmm. because it kind of it kind of goes with um my hair. You know, you see my my um my purple hair. So, mm-hmm. and they're two really pretty colors, and I love them. So, those are my paint light colors. These are all the questions I have prepared. All right, it was so great to interview you. And it was really great to be on here and be interviewed.